Okay, um, we're going to go through open D tuning and chords you can play. Um, I know there's videos out there, but what I've discovered is a lot of the song, well, almost every song that I can play on a standard acoustic guitar or even electric guitar, um, with this open D tuning, you can play just about every song. Um, but the open D tuning kind of gives you a different voicing, um, kind of a lot of slash chords. If you if you uh, take a look or if you analyze the notes that you're playing on some of these chords, they're not just like a straight G chord. It's it's kind of um, the way you finger it. It's it's a G slash B, and um, you know a lot of kind of different voicings of chords that really will change a song or, or um, just give it a whole new life you know from just playing the standard chords on uh, a standard tuned guitar so um, so you tune it uh, open D is going to be D A D F sharp A D so it's going to be okay so there are three notes, all right? Uh, that's an open D chord. So, you know, if you bar every fret, it's gonna move up accordingly. So you just get familiar where, you know, your, where the G is, where the A is, where the E, F, and a D up at the 12. So that, that's a way to play an open chord. Uh, the way I play, oftentimes the way I play a D, rather than just uh, open strings, which tend to ring a lot, is I uh, kind of go open, five, four, open, open, open. Okay. Um, another way to play a major chord, uh, in this case it would be a G major. You finger it like an E7. Okay, where you're going uh, open, two, open, one, and then you're going to put your ring finger on the B string second fret. Okay, so that's uh, that's actually, it might be a, a G with a, a G slash uh, B, but in any case, I often play that as a G chord in any song um, that I'm playing. So if you can, if you bar that, and slide it up, you know, slide it up two frets and play that same formation, you know, that's an A. Okay, because that's an A there. And if you pick up that pinky, I'm not sure what chord that is, but it's, it's kind of like an A, but it just has a... So a lot of cool things you can do. So that's kind of your major chords um, with minor chords, um, the, the formation uh, I kind of start off with is at the top here. It's going to be open, two, open, open, two, open. And that is, that's a B minor. And there's a B minor there too, so I'll show you that second shape of a minor chord. So, you know, if that's a B minor, um, you know, you fret it one, that's C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, um, etc. And just go up. So again, it's that, that formation. The other formation, which is pretty cool, um, and we'll start it back here. It's kind of like an A major seventh, this little backward triangle. So you're uh, open, open, two, one, two, um, and your pinky can be on the E string second fret. Okay, now in this position, this would be what I consider an E minor. Okay, uh, when I play it back here, lots of times I let that uh, E string ring. kind of adds a high D note to that. Um, all right, but uh, with the pinky down, that's kind of the formation for an E minor. Okay, but you're you're trying not to play that. Now you can play that A there. 
Um, but as you slide it up, uh, you don't really want to do that. So you know, if you slide it up one, that's the F, uh, an F minor. Slide it up two, that's an F sharp minor. And likewise, you know, G. Uh, I'm sorry, G minor, A minor, etc. Okay, so that's kind of the formation. So a song that uh, we, we do a lot is, um, or that we've done just in standard tuning is Bob Dylan's uh, If Not For You. And it's, it's, it's basically a, a D, a D, A, G. Okay, and that's how I play that D. Um, or you can play. kind of like to have my hand there and that little change is going to be uh, an F sharp or uh, let's see um, a, a G minor or an F sharp minor to an E minor so it'll be If I lay awake all night Waiting for the morning light to shining through If not for you And then all the other chords Even, you know, on the bridge part, you know If not for you My sky would fall Rain would gather too If not for you So that, that progression, you know, normally in standard tuning, we would be playing the standard chords or bar chords. So here is a, you know, it goes uh, A to a G to the um, F sharp minor, E minor. Yeah, there are all the chords for that. But again, I just took a, a song that we always played in this tuning. Kind of gives you a little, um, you know, a little different, different sound. Um, you know, A G F sharp minor. Just some pretty cool uh, sounding chords. Um, and then. I did this one little kind of descending thing here uh, in some Dylan songs. I, I play my D like this, you know, like I said earlier, just those two fingers on the five, uh, on the fifth and uh, fourth frets. So that's a, that's a D. I don't know what chord that is, but I'm kind of just uh, dropping it down one fret, but actually two frets with that string. So it's, uh, it's open for two, open open um, to that oops to that G um, a, another major chord you know I, I, if I play that I play that D here you know with two fingers you can actually put your third finger down uh, on the third string third fret and you can even throw your pinky on the uh, B string or second string fifth fret and that's you know that again is it's a D major so if you slide that down you know to your that's a C slide it up E F G so um, all what I call G's but um, sometimes with a little different, uh, like a doubled, uh, a note that's doubled in there that just kind of, um, is kind of like an inversion. So um, 
but try all the songs that mm. you've always played in this tuning and once you get familiar with you know these chords and playing them different ways um it's great for songwriting too so um give it a try <laughs> 